Corporate finance practice problem using Excel. Rights offering, rights valuation calculation. Get ready. It's time to take your chance with corporate finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along. Note that we're in the practice tab as opposed to the example tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. Information's on the left-hand side. We're going to populate that into the blue area on the right-hand side related to rights offering. So what are rights offering? For example, if you, if you think of a situation where a corporation wants to generate more capital, wants to get more money for investments, then they might do so by issuing stocks. They might first want to try to get the stocks at a discounted price to the shareholders that are currently off out there. They might do that by having some kind of rights offering, which could allow that to happen. So current shareholders might then have, have rights, right? The shares might have rights then. So if that's the case, then note that's a temporary type of situation. The rights will expire at some point in time. And there could be a question and there could be different kind of questions within the timing, basically, when the rights are going to be basically issued and then when when the rights are about to expire and what happens after the expiration what's going to happen at that point in time to the standard stock price after that point in time but the idea then is going to be of course if the rights the rights then what's going to be the value of the rights as compared to the stocks themselves and at some point you may be able to actually sell the rights separate from the stocks so they'll have that separate valuation so we need to basically get an idea a feel for what is going to be the value of the rights versus the stocks and then the question being after the rights have expired after this whole thing has settled out what will be the value of the stocks you know at that point in time so to think about this let's, let's we have our information on the left we're saying the subscription price which is the price that you would have to pay along with whatever rights are required the reduced price would be 91 dollars. we're going to say the rights needed with the subscription price to buy one new share would be seven so you, you need seven of them plus the subscription price we're, we're basically assuming then that you get one uh one of these rights possibly attached to the share so the stock selling for, the stock is selling for rights on so with the rights included we're saying the stocks sell for that 105 so the stock sales we're talking about with the right included 105 if you were to exercise the right then you would have to basically pay 91 and have seven of the rights uh, included for that to take place so the value of one right could be calculated then the value of the right stock price minus the right subscription price per share over the number of rights required to buy one share plus one so if we calculate that out it looks something like this we're going to take the selling price with the rights on with the right included let's calculate it or say it this way selling price with the right on and that's going to be the 105 that's what it's selling for with the right included then we have the subscription price that's going to be the price that you would be paid if if you were to exercise the option exercise the rights that's for one share we're going to say home tab font group underline and that's going to give us the num numerator we're going to say numerator and that'll be equal to then we'll subtract this out the 105 minus the 91 we get the 14 and then with the rights needed for one share the rights that we're going to need for one share we said was seven and then we're going to add one to it we're going to add one as our formula says down below plus one we're going to then go to the font group underline that and that's of course going to be seven plus one or eight that'll be the denominator of our formula the denominator and the value of the rights then gonna put that here will be equal to the 14 divided by eight so 14 divided by eight let's add a couple decimals let's underline this add some decimals and we get to the 1.75 about for for the value of the right so then of course we can think about okay well if we're talking about stocks that are currently selling for the 105 including a right of the 175 then what would be the value of the stock if we're not including the right then we could say all right well at that point in time we'd say if it's selling for 105 and we determine that the value of the right component is going to be the 1.75 underlining that number group uh i'm sorry font group underline number group adding some decimals subtracting that out then the price x right is going to be without the right 105 minus to 1.75 we're going to go up top numbers group add some decimals 
And it could be at some point that you can actually sell, you know, the, the stocks or break up the right versus the stock and sell them, you know, without the rights that could be useful in that situation, or in depending on the point in time, if we need to basically have a theoretical value, an idea of basically what's going to be the price of the right versus the the stock itself that's going to be important as well and then of course we're going to be thinking or projecting into the future what's going to happen at the end of this thing once the options have been been exercised and whatever has happened after that point in time where will where will we stand uh, after that point 